Assalamu alaikum ungyaramu musibe Hi guys, welcome again um, Let's continue with our classes So today we're gonna see, we're gonna cover grammar, okay? Let's cover the grammar for text number two Okay, let's go guys Okay, grammar, talking about the past Okay, talking about the past So Pula is it's, uh, not very, we don't have complicated like tenses and sort of complicated stuff. It's uh, more straightforward than English. Okay, so one of the simplest way to express the past is by adding the word Harry. Okay, Midovelti past, how do I turn it into the past? Harry Midovelti. Hibega. Hari hibega. Mido jangude. Hari mido jangude. Okay, so it's an easy way to add, uh, the, to expect the past. Hari can also be used to, in, to indicate a sequence of actions. Okay, when you want to indicate a sequence of actions, use Hari. Hari o arani. Hari himo ara, ara, Hari himo aranyandeo. Okay, hari himo ara nyande wo. Hari himo ara nyande wo. Okay, hari ko kanko yahata. Okay, so this is uh, when you want to indicate that the action takes place prior to a subsequent event or has been superseded by a later event or has no connection to the present. Okay, so when you want all these three Scenarios, we want to express any of them, use Hari. Hari me andadu. I didn't know that. Hari me andadu. Hari himo aranyandeo. Hono joni wa ki arde. Hari himo aranyandeo. He used to come every day. Kono, but joni now wa ki arde. Now he stopped coming. Okay? Hari himo aranyandeo. Kono, joni wa ki arde. The word tawi is similar in use to hari. Tawi and hari almost the same. Huh? Hari o alatong. Tawi o alatong. Okay, but the difference is that tawi, an observer is implied. For example, when my dad sent me or my mom sent me to meet, you know, to give something to my auntie or something, and then I come back and I said, Tawi o alatong. I went there, Tawi o alatong. Okay, but he wasn't there. Or she, my auntie, wasn't there. Okay, so Tavi is for, uh, it implies an observer. Okay, sorry guys. Another way to move events into the path is to use the preterite verb form with the no marker. Okay, so like here, for example, the verb that ends with ugal. Okay, uh, yahugal. Miyahuno. Miyahuno kagolle. I went to work. Okay, miyahuno kagole. Okay, oyahino, mitawo oyahino. I I found out. I found or oh, when I arrived, I found that he left. Oyahino, oyahano gole. O inni o nauni oyahadi oyahari gole. Oyahano gole. Okay, oyahano gole. He. Okay, the negative. So they took the verb yahugo. Another verb. Dainugal, dainugal, to trick. Dainugal. Okay? Or dainunu. Okay? But for dainugal, or dainino. Okay? Dainino, like. Or, or dainino monebi. He, he tricked him a long time ago. Like, you know, or dainino monebi, dainugal. Okay? Or dainano ming. Or dainano ming. He didn't uh, trick us. Okay? Or dynamic, we do not like trick, lie, like that. Dainugal, dainugal. Okay. Mi daina no mo holi. Mi daina no mo holi. Okay. For example, I'm making a trick. Okay, and then the person reveals the answer, or I don't know. They oh, mi daina no mo holi. I wanted to trick him. Oh man, now you uh, messed up everything. Mi daina no. Mo woni. I know no more woni. Okay. At I natano. 
at Aina Tano, you shouldn't have uh, tricked him. So that's the no marker. Marker. Hande mi yahnu kasare. So I guess. Mi yahnu konakiri hika. Okay. Hika means this year. Hika. Hika means this year. Okay. Mi yahnu konakiri hika. You remember in you know, for the ceremonies part uh, on te in text one, one of the texts we put hika eko arata. Hika this year, eko arata next year. Okay. Questions involved in recently completed actions, use it. Kohonto o yahuno. Okay. Kohonto o yahuno. The no marker is also necessary to talk about things that could have happened but didn't. Simi arano, mi atano. Simi arano lau, mi tawatanoma. If I didn't come early, I sh wouldn't have um, met you. I wouldn't have met you. I, I wouldn't have met you, okay? Oh, no, bad. Okay, I wouldn't have met you. So, Tawugol means to, like, to, Tawugol means to, to meet someone, like, to, to, you, and you come and you meet the person, Tawugol, 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 uh, like, to found also, to find, to find, sorry, to find someone. Okay, see me, ara no lau, lau means early. If I didn't come early, okay, if I didn't come early. See, o yahino, o so, no, here it should be, si o yahuno, si o yahuno. Okay, it should be si o yahuno o so da no biredi. No, si o yahino, yeah, si o yahino o so da no biredi. Okay, if he had gone, he would have brought, he he would have bought bread. Okay, si o yahino o so da no o so da no biredi. Okay, now the class pronouns. We've covered a lot. We've covered them in the articles, like. Barirunu, nyemete wangal, the cockroach. Sorry for me bringing this nasty example. The cockroach, nyemete wangal, the cockroach. Okay. Bafangal, and you see whenever it ends with angal, so the the class. So basically, the the ending of the word will indicate the proper class pronoun. Nyemete wal. So what do I say? Do I say nyemetual on? No. Do I say nyemetual ndeng? No. Do I say nyemetual ngil? No. What do I say nyemetual ngal? It ends with al. So those words, they have the same class pronoun. Ngal, 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 ngal. Bafal, the door. Baf, do, bafal, door. How do I say the door now? Bafal, ngal. You get it? Lemunere. Uh, a uh, wurere, wurere, the cooking pot. Wurere, how do I say? Wurere means cooking pot. How do I say now? The cooking pot. Wurere, ndeng. Ndeng. The word that ends with a usually is ndeng. I'm sorry. It'll be like that, okay? And also, the, the class pronouns I use in articles, are articles are the, the article, the equivalent of the in English, and demonstrative. Like this, okay? This, like so. For bariru, it becomes, now you put it before, if it's a demonstrative. Ndu bariru. Ndu bariru norauni. This dog is white. Okay? Ndu bariru ngal bafal nonyandi. That dog is big, huge. Okay? This dog is big, ngal bafal. Okay? So every pronoun form we have seen. Every pronoun form we have seen for people also has a set of forms appro appropriate to each class. Yes. It means that there are an awful lot of different pronoun forms out there. There are something called pronoun forms. This, this is what he means by pronoun forms. Active subject pronoun. For the own class, it's o, mo, himo, hombo, kanko, 
a mako. For the active subject pronoun, it's o. For the object pronoun, it's mo. For the stative, and both of these are subject pronouns, but you remember, uh, actually some, some books even call them like complex subject pronouns for this one, stative, because it's not only the stative, it's for stative, stative, and mm, how is it called? It's for the state, and also continuous. For the continuous, also you will use these pronouns. Like for example, like when I say himo nyamude, he is eating. I don't say o nyamude. I say himo nyamude. Okay, I don't say o because the o is for active, and for the continuous, I will use himo. You get it? So here, it's not only the stative. They should actually add here stative and um, uh, continuous, and also how do I call it? If three scenarios why you can use those complex subject pronouns. So maybe it's better to say a complex subject pronoun and a simple subject pronoun. Okay, so simple subject pronoun, complex, and now object. Object is like me. Okay? Like he hit me. He hit me. I would say, and and this actually is only for the person, it's only for the third person. All this is for the third person. This is for the third person. Oh. So here, mo is him or her. Otapimo. Uh, he hit him. Or actually, it can be she hit him also because o. O can mean he or she. Mo can mean him or her. So when I say o tapimo, o 